Hey, Nick. I'm ready for a vacation. You want to take a trip? Tell me about it. Yes. Yes, I would like that. All right. Let's go to Texas. Yeehaw. <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. And today we have a donated bottle number two. Yep. Thank you, Rick Swank. Appreciate your uh, your friendship and uh, your donation. Rick is from Texas. He's a Dallas Cowboys fan. He roots for the Texas Longhorns. He's from San Antonio. Okay. So, nice city. I've been there. Um, this, however, is from... Fort Worth, Texas. Yep. So Fort Worth is up by Dallas, which is north of San Antonio. Uh, nice city. A lot of good music going on in there. And apparently, really good whiskey. So yeah. let's uh, let's talk about TX Whiskey here, Nick. Yep. What do we know? Uh, we know that they won the double gold medal back in 2013 at the San Francisco Screws competition. Hmm. Delicious. Yep. That's the only place that matters. We're going to say that every time. <laughs> the only place that matters. Just in case you thought New York was like the premier no, San Fran is the yeah. huge, the big, the biggest, the biggest one. Mm -hmm. uh, 51% corn made with, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, a, a certain kind of Texas wheat. Like a, a Texas winter wheat. Something yeah. like that red winter, winter yeah, wheat. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. And so then, it, it's, uh, it's wheated. And yeast from a pecan tree. Right. So that should be. Interesting. Should be interesting. It is blended. Mm -hmm. it's blended whiskey, forty-seven percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which makes it ninety-four proof. Wait, forty-one percent. Sorry. Oh, forty-one. Yep. Okay, so, so ninety-two 80, proof. Eighty-two. Oh, eight, eighty-two. Yeah, this is low. Damn. This is gonna be a slow and low, baby. Uh, Firestone and Robertson Distilling Company. So, yeah, I wrote them a message last year, mm -hmm. you know, asking them to send us a sample, and they said they weren't coming out here. Whoa. And then Rick Swank. Or no, you found Texas. I did. You found it. In, I got uh, the straight bourbon whiskey, yeah. which is the, the black instead of the white. Mm -hmm. And we'll review that sometime soon, too. Kind of compare the two. Then we'll do a double header. Yep. Be delicious. All right. Let's uh, get into the bottle appearance here. I like the leather top on the cap. I do like that. That's yeah. kind of cool. cool. You don't see that anywhere. No. And then the nice, uh, what do they call it? Hand-woven something. I, I can't know. even remember what that stuff's called. I don't know. Uh, be like, beautiful yeah, writing all cloth. over it. I like the design of the bottle, like the Firestone and Robertson stuff. It's a beautiful bottle. Yeah. Uh, okay. Real cork. I like, this is like real old school like feeling. It's very light. Mm -hmm. You heard the bottle pop, so that's nice. Yep. So what do you expect from this one, Nick? I've had this one. I know what to expect. Yeah, I haven't had it. You've um, had the regular one. I've had the regular one, which... Upon first taste, I wasn't a huge fan because it was very, very woody and char. Just nothing but that. I couldn't get past it. Um, this one, being blended, I assume it's going to be a little more, uh, I don't know. Evened out. Evened out, smoothed out a little bit. So that's, that's kind of what I expect. Smoothed out whiskey, mm -hmm. uh, oak, vanilla. Um, I don't know. We'll just find out. I expect a little pecan. Yeah, for sure. Especially like saying that they use pecan yeast. Expecting a lot of big things. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. And especially because it's from Texas and everything's bigger in Texas. Big things. Big things. All right, man, let's get into it. All right. No more talk. Let's play. It's it's light. It's light. It's very light. Golden color. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like a scotchy color. Mm -hmm. Give it a swirl, check the legs. When the legs do come down, they're thick. So I can't. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, they're a little thin, actually. So yeah, they're thin. probably a little bit of water in there. Obviously, because it's 82 proof. Yeah, it's going to be freaking. Yeah. Let's talk about the nose. Yes. What is that? Uh, you get like peat kind of rolling out of there? Like a little peaty? No, I get like a, like a big hair sort of thing. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess I would say fruity. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. Maybe like a little bit of pecan wood, like that's that's kind of it's like nice. And... <sighs> it smells light. Light. It's like light fruit. It's, it's not like burning my nose at all. Like no. trying to get in there and 
Give it a scent. Caramel. Definitely vanilla. That's strong in there. Yeah, yeah. vanilla. Oh, it smells pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's uh dive into the tasting. Cheers, yes. buddy. Cheers. Mmm. 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 The first thing I noticed was wood. I get like a banana. Mm -hmm. It's like rummy. It is. The banana rummy. is really strong. Mm. Yeah. It's good though. Like I, this is very pleasant. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's actually flavored. Most eighty troopers are just mm -hmm. watered down, tasteless. You know. Yeah, it does. It tastes just like rum to me. Like right now, I'm like that's all I'm getting is rum, which isn't a bad thing. I like you know like some spiced. I'd say spiced rum. I wouldn't say regular, like, white rum. No, white rum's just for uh, mixing, usually. Uh, it's, it's got some nice mm. flavors to it. It's very sweet. Lots of, yeah, that rum. That vanilla, that strong mm -hmm. vanilla makes it very rummy. Vanilla bean. Ooh. And that banana. I want to really love this. But the fact that it's a bourbon, but it doesn't taste like a bourbon. It don't. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, like Jack Daniels mixing with like rum or something. Like, like um. Well, I guess they don't say bourbon on there, right? It's just it's a whiskey. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. You know, it's not a bourbon. I like it. I'll say for a whiskey, I like it. I do like it too. Yeah. This is like, this is a good summer drink. If you want to replace like your your pina colada like, mm. with uh, with this, this would be a good like alternative. Yeah. yeah, like a... Uh, and it smells... A you know, whiskey pina colada or something. The lower it gets, the more I'm getting, like, buttered popcorn scent coming out of there. Like, you know the uh, the oh. jelly beans? That yeah. They have the buttered popcorn? Yeah. This, right now, smells like how that tastes. It hmm. doesn't exactly taste like buttered popcorn, but it tastes like butter and, yeah. like, a little bit of popcorn. I get that, too. Yeah. I thought you say that. It smells really good. It does smell. I like... I really like... It's very vanilla-y, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's the hero. That's the outlier in this one. This is uh, this is gonna surprise you, I think. With, yeah. Like with my rating, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's ninety, but. Mmm. 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 I like it. That's good. Yeah, I could drink that like all day. Oh yeah. And not be tired of it. It's so good. That's good. And like, there's a hint of char, on the tail end with a little bit of like pepper, right? Right. Yeah. But that goes away, and it, it's just so like open to all sorts of different kinds of flavor. Mm -hmm. Tropical. It's mm -hmm. like tropical. Yeah, that's delicious. That finished in rum would be like too much. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. Yeah, it'd be like, this is rum. <laughs> yeah, this is rum, dude. Give um, me spiced rum. Give it a score, man. I want to know what you got first. I like I like the tropical notes. The banana, banana and I'm vanilla. I'm going to pick up a bottle of this. I might, I might too. Oh, I think the MSRP is like 30, 35. That's not that much. No, it's not that much. Um, I'll give it, um, 87. Wow. Yeah, I like it. Wow. Honestly, we're close. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you give it an 87? I mean, I've had a lot of 80 proofers mm -hmm. and none of them I don't, I don't really care for. They're just... Mm -hmm. There's no flavor, too watered down. You shouldn't water down a whiskey that much. But this, I actually can pick out a quite quite a few flavors that are that are pretty pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty nice. This is very good. Yeah. I was gonna give it an eighty-six. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna go with you at eighty-seven. Yeah. This is like. This is really good all the way through. I wish that it was a wow factor, but if I would have gotten more of like the. The vanilla and stuff like that on the nose, and like the like the type of banana tropical stuff on the nose, mm -hmm. versus just on the palate and the finish. Uh, I think this would have been in the nineties. Right. Uh, the fact that it doesn't present in the nose, but it's every the final two. It has to be upper eighties because that's just all like wow factor. Man. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, it's definitely a summer drink. Yes. I would like to see the same. Bottle at like 120 proof. I think the just, I think the bourbon's 90. 
Uh, what I'm saying though is a VP of this exact mash bill. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be pretty like, cool. Stronger free. flavors. Yeah. Oh man, that'd and be just good. bring it all out. A full bouquet of flavor. Yes, the um, only bourbon I can think of that's like that is Jefferson's Ocean. It has still kind of those tropical flavors in it. I've never had a bourbon that tastes like this. Me neither. Like this is just it's, it's very thing. unique. Very unique. Thank you, Rick. Uh, when we had this, I think all I got on it was caramel. Yeah. But after today, god dang, dude. That's I'm going to have to pick me up a bottle of this. This is definitely Whiskey Warehouse approved. And I'm betting that that pecan helps, like, open up the, the like, sweeter flavors. You know, you have, yeah. like, butter pecan ice cream. Right. This is kind of like butter pecan ice cream in a, in a bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's really good. Really, really good. Stamp of approval? Yep. I think so. All right. On to the next topic. You're going to find our podcasts. I don't know what we're going to be doing when this video is released, but uh, for this one, like the previous video where we're both wearing the same shirts like this, we're going to be featuring Ragged Branch. That'll be good. Yeah. Uh, but at that time, we don't know what we're going to be doing. Um, we have merch. Yep. We got merch. We got hats, shirts, all kinds of stuff. Just... Uh, Click on the link in the description. By then, our Japanese shirt should be out. That'll be kind of cool for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Dragon Ball Z is kind of that same kind of same thing. Same theme. Uh, let's see. What am I missing? Check out our Instagram. Subscribe. Socials below. Duke Cannon below. Description. Duke Cannon. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I think you're right. Shout out to Trent. Wish you were here. Yep. Peace, bitches. See you guys.